I'm going to show you how to make an antipasto platter like a pro. I'm going to give you all my tips and tricks, what goes on it, all the things. It's meant to be really a celebration of color and flavor and the people around your table. Grab yourself a platter. We're going to start assembling this party. What I like to do is really kind of begin to anchor my platter. So I'm going to start with one in the middle, two to the sides, and then we're going to fill around. I love to have some fresh veggies, so I raid my fridge for any veggies I have on hand. Cheeses, three kinds, hard, soft, semi-soft. Usually the elements of an antipesto platter would include some cured Italian meat, I am using salami and prosciutto mostly. For a palate cleanser, I always like to have something a little bit sweet. So I have fresh grapes and some fig jam. I will mix and match so that we have a lot of textures and a lot of flavors on the platter. I will just kind of follow a whimsical pattern, but also spread about the different colors. So if I have some red on one side, then I make sure that I go back in and add red on the other side and just kind of give my board a coherence. So think of that middle bowl as your anchor. And then if you look at it, it's two halves of your board and they each have similar colors and are arranged to somewhat mirror each other without looking exactly the same. Just take what I'm telling you as just a loose guide. It's a great way to just set the table and relax and come together and just enjoy. Yay, just in time. What do you think? It looks beautiful. It's a beauty. The crowd went wild. <laughs> oh! If you're looking for more party platter ideas, check out my Meze platter next. Another flavor party you don't want to miss. Recipe is on the MediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later. Ciao. Yay!